Hi everyone and welcome to RC Foam Fighters. I'm Frank and today we're going to be starting part 3 of my 89mm duct fan plane project. We're going to go ahead and uh, finish up the build and then we'll head out to Herman Airport and get some test flights in. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, it's been a while since I've done anything with my 89mm duct fan project. And it's been on the back burner for a little while so I decided I finally want to go ahead and get back to work on it. Um, let me go ahead and show you what I've done so far. I did go ahead and install the EDF unit and I built the thrust tube for it and installed the speed controller. It's an 85 amp Turnigy speed controller. Um, I upgraded the wiring on the battery side to 8 gauge because it's going to run all the way up to the front of the plane here and it's quite a way so I wanted to use thicker wire. Um, I'm going to attempt to use my Turnigy 9X radio that I recently got. I may change that later as I'm not sure how well this radio is going to work just yet. Um, I might go ahead and use my Airtronics 8 channel radio instead. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the components that I'm going to be installing in the plane. Because this plane is pretty good size, I decided I wanted to add some landing gear to it. I'm going to be going with a tricycle style fixed landing gear setup. I got all the parts for this at the local hobby shop. It's just the usual Debro and Great Plains parts that you would find at the hobby shop. For the servos, I'm going to be setting up the plane as an Elevon setup. So I'm going to be using a pair of these Hextronics DMG16. These are uh, Metal Gear servos, and they weigh in at about, I think, 18, 18 and a half grams. Um, I'm going to be using heavy-duty control rods and control horns. Um, other than this, I just wanted to show you the motor that I installed in the EDF. Um, it's already in the EDF. This is the same type of motor. It's a Turnigy Typhoon. It's a 500 series helicopter motor and it's rated at 1800 kV. And to complete the plane's power system, we're going to be using a Turnigy 4000 milliamp 5 cell lithium battery. This battery is rated at 30 C and has a 40 C burst rate. Okay, this pretty much covers all the parts that I'm going to be using to finish up the plane. So I'm going to go ahead and get back to the build. Okay guys, I got the plane together. It's about 90% finished. The only thing I need to do is build a canopy for it and paint it up a little bit later. I wanted to go ahead and get it out and test fly it here. We're out at Herman Airport. Um, let's go ahead and see how it flies. Okay, I'm ready. You're on. Oh, she's up in the air. Woo! Looks a little touchy in the... Uh, Pitch. Awesome though, at least you got her in the air. How's she feeling, Frank? Yeah, you might want to bring it in if you can and put some weight on it.
Looks like, is that with no... Were you on the uh, stick or was that natural glide? So it looks like it's pretty close then. Cool, looks like it's flying. Yeah, I got barely any throttle on at all. You see how it does with a little more speed. Yeah. Nope, still pitchy. Still pitchy. Like I said, I think it's still just a little bit on the tail heavy side. You do have some pretty huge uh, elevons on it too. Yeah. It's cool though, it flies at very low throttle. I'm like most of the time less than half throttle just to keep it in the air. Yeah, I think we need to put some color on it. That light blue is blending yeah, into the I know. sky. I'm trying, to, <laughs> trying to keep it close too so I don't lose orientation. I'm glad it can fly without that much throttle too. That's what's cool about it. That's full throttle. Definitely. Yeah, he definitely looked pitchy, so he probably. I think I need a little bit more weight in the front. Weight. Let me see if I can bring it in for landing. I don't need to come in from that way though, huh? Oh, wait, yeah. The wind seems like a change. So yeah, it looks like it's come like from. It's coming at us now. I need to come from the other end. Let me try and bring it in from this side. Those canards could possibly be making it a little bit pitchy too. You know, once yeah. they get up in the air, up or down it. Whoa. <laughs> There you go, awesome. <laughs> Let me get some nose weight and add it in there. Looks like some crazy Russian bomber or something <laughs> without the cockpit on top. Cool. Okay, what do you think, Franco? I'm happy it flew, man. <laughs> yeah, congratulations. It's not super fast, but um, that's not. I wasn't expecting it to be too fast because of what it's built out of and all that, and just because of how size it is. Yeah, in frontal but, area. You know, I was worried it was gonna. If it was too fast, you know, I don't think the foam will hold up to it because, like I said, we didn't build this the usual RC foam fighters way. It doesn't have any weave or anything. It's just blue core foam with one spar in it, so it handles pretty good. It's just a little bit pitchy right now. Cool. Okay guys, we're getting ready to do the second flight. I added a little bit of weight to the nose, it's about one ounce. I also turned the rates down on the elevator. I dropped it another 10%. It's at 60% and I put the Expo up to 40%. So let's go ahead and test it again, see how it goes. All right, here goes. How's it feel now? A little less pitchy? Yeah. Let me bring it around real quick. That's weird, it's almost wanting to climb more now. Huh. Let me do another glide test. Just bring it around this way. All right, there's power off. That's dead stick. It looks like it's gliding about right, so your CG should be right. You have to go, it vanished. There it is.
Uh-oh, I hit cut out. Uh-oh. Bring it in, glide it in. Let it glide, and then you should come back on, hopefully. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, how many amp? You see, you said only 80 amp? 85. Yeah, you probably need to put a bigger one in. Oh, little, ru oh, scrub a dub a. Not rough. <laughs> uh oh, my steering isn't working now. <laughs> What do you think? Oh, well, it was a little bit of a rough landing. Um, I'm going to have to go check out, see if it did anything. It doesn't want to turn right now, so I don't know if it collapsed the front landing gear or not. So We'll take a closer look. look. Not bad, though, after a year and a half waiting for this thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it just twisted inside. I need to loosen the collar nut up and uh, readjust it again, I think. But I think everything's okay. Okay. How's the wing? Did you scrub the wing at all? Uh, wing looks fine. I scrubbed a little bit up on the front here, okay. but nothing major. Well, pretty cool. Good. Yeah, pretty cool for a successful uh, maiden flight, I think, though. Yeah, not too bad for my first uh, EDF. real <laughs> EDF plane. 88, 89 millimeters. Cool, man. Okay, guys, now that I got the plane back home, it's time for a little bit closer damage assessment. I did look at it already a little bit. Um, on the inside, the mounting brackets that I put in there for the steerable landing gear on the nose, um, it broke loose. The glue broke where I had it glued together. And it looks like it's going to be easy to fix. I can glue it back together. And I'm just going to have to put some more reinforcing in here um, to make it a little bit stronger so it won't break again. Um, other than that, I didn't really get any other real damage to the plane. Maybe a couple little scuff marks underneath the nose here, but nothing major. So it should be a pretty easy fix. And hopefully I can get the plane back out again pretty soon and do some more test flying. Um, I definitely need to work the pitchiness out of the plane too because it's still pretty pitchy even though I've got the rates set all the way down to 60% and I have 40% of Expo in it. So I don't know, I might trim down the elevons in the back a little bit. They're two inches long, or wide I should say. So I might trim them down to one and a half inches. And I definitely need to add some weight in the nose to get the CG a little bit better too. So I think it was still fine, just a tad tail heavy. Um, but well, like I said, we'll try and get the plane out again here pretty soon and do some more test flying. So please stay tuned. And I think this is a good spot to stop the video. So until next time, thanks for all you guys' support and thanks for watching RC Foam Fighters.